if you don't take a risk, you're going to end up working for somebody who did. So what would you rather do? You have to make that jump. Trust God. Take that leap of faith. And it might be uncomfortable at first, but that's when you start to grow. That's when you start to evolve. You can't grow when things are comfortable. Take the risk now. Start now. There's no more sitting on the sidelines. You know, there's people who talk the talk. We don't do that. We put in the work and we walk the walk. The present moment is all we have and tomorrow is never promised. So we can't waste time. Don't let that voice in your head make excuses for you. Because like Kobe said, the job is not finished. We still have more work to do.
Dylan Ives directs traffic, kicks to Briggs. Now from the wing, pushed inside. Kicked out to Derodola, whose shot goes wide. A little bit long there, the rebound from Tyler Rowe, and it's put away a fading shot. Just about six minutes to go now in our second quarter. One point lead for the Vipers as before that shot can go off, the whistles blow. And the whistles blew for a technical foul. And it's going to be technical free throw for Tyler Rowe who knocks it home. It's tied up 38 to 38. Now a third chance picked up by King. This first possession for the Kraken. With Tyler Rowe, third time's the charm, putting the Kraken out in front. Charlie Adams here on play-by-play -play with Ashton Allison doing the camera work to Fans Only Sports Network staff here bringing you this TBL coverage as Simon gets it in. It was Briggs who was called for the foul and it turns over the possession to the Vipers. This is a tied game in our third quarter, 61 to 61. A good takeaway for Tyler Rowe right on the back of that pass and going up for the layup, the foul called. One for two, all that's left for Tyler Rowe Still an opportunity to put the Kraken back in the lead, and that's what he does. Simon helps out, but Scott drives through and can't complete it. Smooth dribbling and a nicer layup to finish it. Just couldn't find it into the back of the net. While for the Vipers, they started off hot from deep, but hasn't been dropping as much as this one's gone on. Slowing down their production and letting Rhode Island get back in front. His Kraken teammates come back to help him out as Rhode Island Kraken with 25 seconds left in the quarter, 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Push to the wing now for Tyler Rowe. Shot clock winding down to the final second before Tyler Rowe drills the jumper, giving on to the loose ball. Missing that opportunity, Justin Brown drops back to defense. Driving through the lane, kicking to the corner, the three-pointer drilled it. Good and fades a mid-range. It won't go, it's loose after Justin Brown brought in the rebound. Loose once again, and now all the way down the court, missed layup for Malik Jones. Pump fake pass away for Rowe over by one. They'll have to force possession back. They've been full court pressing as they knock home the free throw. If Rowe can knock home both of these, he can force the Vipers to have to take a three to just force overtime, and he knocks home the first. It's a two-point game. Two-point game, Tyler Rowe. Looking to ice things here, and nearly guarantee at least overtime, and that's what he does. He puts away this inbound if they would like to continue this game. The Kraken have been on a roll, especially at home, trying to close out their third home win in a row as that shot misses, and the Kraken bring home the win. 